welcome everyone. My name is Blood. How is everyone doing today? And today, we're actually going to be talking about something a little different today. We're talking about Ninja Tower. It's a brand new thing that's come out the past couple days. Um, just trying to figure out what exactly is going on. So I thought I'd go over some brief tips, tricks, how to survive as long as you can. Because I'm going to start and be 100% honest with everyone right now. This is not a beginner's uh, map, stage, whatever. This is for like late game people who've been playing for a while. Um, so yeah, in Ninja Tower there are 50 stages. Uh, starts at the bottom, and then it goes all the way to 50. Um, if you complete, you as you complete stages, you get emblems. So this is like more like an emblem quest type thing. Um, and if you notice these little stars, you get blessings. So every three stages, you get these blessings that help um, sort of boost your stats. So it could be things like 5% attack buff, defense, crit chance. Uh, you could spawn a minion. You can have mana generation. Like There's a lot of different good things about it. Um, that's every three stages. And these are like permanent buffs you get now. There is this thing called Oni Curses. I thought I'd bring it here because it's more of an in-game thing. So it essentially works like the event ones where there's like a little timer. If you don't match it in time, there's a punishment. Well, in this case, uh, they feature Oni Curses. And it, if there's an Oni Stone present and it is not destroyed in three turns or less, your hero that has been marked receives an Oni Curse. If you get two Oni Curses... You cannot use that hero for the remainder of Ninja Tower. So you either will run out of energy, you'll run out of heroes. There's a lot of ways you can go wrong with this. Um, and But it also scores like, um, sort of like events, sort of like uh, the Grim Forest that we just had, or Alice in Wonderland, or Guardians of Tell Talk, you know, things like that, where there's a score based off your matches, uh, how fast you do it. Uh, and your health bonus and stuff. So um, it's very similar to that aspect. So just to look at the uh, rewards real quick. This is what you're playing for basically. And emblems are super important late game. Um, they become really expensive. So um, it's a good thing that, you know, probably my guess is I'll be towards the bottom. I'm not trying to do a fast run by any means. So... Yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab one of these important items I think is super crucial. And we're only going to use it a couple anyway, so... Oops, sorry. Alright, so I guess the other thing I should talk about is as your stages go, it gets harder. So notice on stage 6 you used to get a little additional uh, st uh, situation. Uh, and this is the Deadly Chamber or the Toxic Vapor, sort of like how Season... Uh, two works with the poison mist stages, um, but slightly different as in it's not every turn, it's every three turns you receive damage. Um, if things go well, you then deal with this next curse or negative effect called a uh, fragile floor. So this one's actually the most interesting in the three in my opinion because it uh, it let it forces you to start at one less uh, item. So if you bring five tornadoes, you're only coming in with four. Not that you lose one in your inventory or whatever, but you just only be able to use four max instead of five. Um, finally, the reason why I wait is because this is where we're going to go to together, and this is the uh, erratic time. So it's sort of like how Magic Knight works, where it's like one turn for like status effects and stuff. But instead of it being like only one turn, it's one turn less. So, for example, if I... Uh, for, if I use Aslar costume and I hit three people, instead of it doing two turns of dot damage, it's only going to do one turn. It'll do at least one turn, always. But as those stages progress, you'll notice that the symbols changed. So now what used to be 50 is now 75. And then later on, when you have that, you'll get two less items. So now you can only bring three tornadoes. And I bring up tornadoes a lot because, in my opinion, tornadoes are going to be your most crucial item. 
them, Hurricanes, uh, Scrolls of Alteration, those are going to be your Holy Trifecta. Because I value getting rid of Oni Curses more than I value um, high scores. Because I think that a lot of people are not going to be able to finish this event just because of how difficult it is. So the whole point, I think, is survival. So I thought I'd go over uh, one of these missions with you. So luckily, I just match whatever. It tells you what exactly is going to be on the stage. So you don't have to like search subconsciously or whatever. So I think that's a great standard. So because it's fire in nature, we're going to bring ice and fire. Yeah, ice and fire. Let's do that. That was for my previous match. So let's bring Ariel. I don't want to bring all my toughest people. So not my Athena, not my... And as you can see, I accidentally messed up. This is from testing stuff. So I can actually show you what this is. So this is an Oni curse. This will be a permanent symbol for the rest of this ninja tower. You don't permanently lose them. You just can't use them for the, the event anymore. Sort of like how Tavern of Legends works. It's like a bunch of different things they put together. So I'm going to hold off on using Vela for a while because I don't want to lose her too early. But I'm okay with losing Finley early because he's not fully maxed, so I'm not freaking out. But I'll go... Uh, let's go that, and then we'll do... I like Black Knight for the uh, deflection of damage because I don't want to get screwed over. And then we'll do... Let's do Mitsuko. Why not? I mean, it's not really the greatest thing. It's just for the mana uh, gen down. So I have a, one more alteration scroll. I'm also going to throw out... Let me go ahead and put a better healing potion because I do need them in my opinion. Uh, that is important, but instead of these, we're going to go tornadoes. Actually, because I don't have enough scrolls, we're going to do something like this. Notice how my thing says 9 instead of 10, 4, 4, etc. Because of that fragile floor stuff. And then I'm going to bring antidotes. Actually, no, I don't need antidotes. Let's bring uh, axe attacks, maybe? Could you also do banners? Nah, axe attacks will be fine. Oh, and this superb thing. So here's the blessings I'm currently using. 10% uh, attack, 5% defense, 5% mana gen, and then the lantern summoning. So... Later on, it's going to be a lot more important. So let's go ahead and see. Deadly Chamber, so they're talking about the new things. So it's going to be less effects. So as you can see, we got a timer. And I'm... Speed is important, but I'm not like trying to shoehorn it. Because I feel as though you're just going to be wasting a lot of time. Just trying to throw random tiles around. Okay, perfect. I was waiting for this. I was sort of just stalling the talk. These are the Oni Stones. You have three turns. If you cannot dispel this in time, then you get one curse. If you get two curses, you're, you cannot use the hero anymore after the, the battle is done. So I always like to go for the Oni Curses if I can first. I prioritize them because I value using my stronger heroes later, you know? So we're just going to go ahead and clear some stuff. Ooh, this is a bad one. Okay. So my strategy is I like to hold off on tornadoes or alteration scrolls or whatever when the situation arises. I Right now, I'm not worried about using one because I have three turns to fix the board. If I would only use tornadoes if I have one turn left. That's the only reason I'd ever consider using them. Um, I, that's why I'm like talking. I'm not trying to speed run this. I'm just sort of going over with it. Oh, that's garbage. But notice how I cleared that out. Don't panic with your tornadoes. It becomes expensive and you, you lose your emergencies when you do that. I think that you're, the goal of this is just to do as much damage as you can. Luckily, it's only two stages, so you have minimum chances about the Oni Curses. So let's go ahead and get everything fired up. Sort of ways to use that. So interactions with mana control is really interesting. 
Like, you can, like, Hansel, I don't know if it works exactly how it should, but I tested it out with Hansel. It works with Peters, but it's just a weird thing. So I want to see what happens when you cut mana from, like, a charged hero. Oh, so it does lose it. But every time it fires, does that mean it fires the first one? Or does it... That's the one confusing thing, is I don't know what dictates... Alright. We're going to go ahead and heal her up a bit. Throw one of these down. Alright. The good news is I can fix this board. So this is exactly what I was talking about, and I'm a little concerned now that she's getting more charges. So that's the one careful statistic you gotta worry about. Um, I might just actually just pound out the damage. Uh-oh. That's a lot of mana drop. Okay, and this sucks too. So, this is what I didn't want happening, and it happens. So, we're going to probably have to use uh, one of these tornadoes, because I'm not getting really much ice help, aren't I? Come on, give me some good luck. Uh... I just value having the ability to not get cursed, but I might have to waste all these, which is unfortunate. Good, good, good. So that's the one thing that sort of sucks is when you're in those situations, you just can't. I don't want to get cursed with the stupid champions and then not being able to use them anymore this early on. So yeah, this score is not nearly as good. So one thing you got to note is... After completing a stage, you cannot replay it like events. You only get one shot at it. So if you fail or uh, once you complete it, you can't go for a better score. So this won't be a great score for me. But honestly, at the, I'm not trying to go for top score this this go around. I just want to see how it works, experiment, etc. So yeah, um, that's basically what I can do. Tell you about it. Um, so yeah. With that in mind, thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And have a good evening, morning, and afternoon. I'll see you next time. Peace.